So the Kardashians went to family therapy. Yes, you heard that right. Because when you're not famous enough from just existing and causing drama, you go to therapy and invite the cameras along. I mean, why sort out personal issues in private when you can do it in front of millions? Chloe apparently needs the most therapy. Remember when she was once just the funny Kardashian? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Now she's the poster child for family therapy, a true rags to riches story, or maybe trauma to more trauma. Kim brought up her Paris robbery again, because nothing says healing like rehashing your most traumatic life event in front of your sisters and millions of strangers. Can we get an applause for Kim's impeccable timing? Bravo, queen. Rob didn't show up, which is the most Rob thing ever. Maybe he was busy doing Rob things like, you know, not being a part of the Kardashian chaos that made them famous in the first place. Honestly, sometimes I think he's the smart one. Kris Jenner probably saw this as a marketing opportunity, a family that goes to therapy together, stays together, and makes millions. Gotta hand it to her, she really knows how to turn a crisis into cash. What's next? A therapy-themed season. Of course, we can't forget about Courtney, who probably sat there wondering what organic, gluten-free drama she wandered into. She's like an alien in her own family, completely detached, but somehow always in the thick of it. You do you, Courtney. All right, audience, we've seen the Kardashians air their dirty laundry with therapists. What's next? Therapy merch? A new reality show spinoff? Or maybe you're just here for the train wreck? Let us know. What would be your next Kardashian chaos wish? Like and subscribe, please.